Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan. Uh, in this video, I am going to solve exercise 4A of D1 7th edition. Uh, I will solve question number 6, 7 and 8 because previous questions have already been solved. So starting from question number 6, that is D1 new edition and it's exercise 4A. And question number is 6. Uh, write down an algebraic expression for each of the following statements. Question number 6, part A. We have to write an algebraic expression for part A and part B. So an algebraic expression involves algebraic terms with mathematical operations in between them. So part A says subtract, this is mathematical operation, subtract, the cube root of the product of x and 3y from the square of the sum of a and b, quite complex, so let me explain, cube root of cube root of the product of x and 3y. So first of all find the product of x and 3y that is 3y into x. This is product of x and 3y. Now take cube root of this product, this is cube root. Next square of sum of A and B, square of what? Square of sum of A and B, sum of A and B is a plus b and its square is a plus b square. Now you have to subtract cube root of product of x and 3y mean you have to subtract this one from this square of sum of a and b. So basically the answer will be a plus b whole square which is square of sum of a and b and I am subtracting this one from this that is like this 3y x. This is the answer for part number a. Part b of question number 6 is the total value of x 20 cents coin and y 5 dollar notes in cents you have to find the value in cents so 20 cents coin are how much in number how many x so x 20 cents coin 20 cent coins now that will be equal to 20 times x if one coin is of 20 cents then x 20 cent coin will be equal to 20 into x cent. Now, y 5 dollar notes? You have 5 dollar notes. You can convert it into cents by multiplying it by 100 because 1 dollar equals 100 cents. Now I have converted this 5 dollar note into cents and how many 5 dollar notes are here? They are y. So this is the value of 1 5 dollar notes in cents multiplied by number of 5 dollar notes which are y. 
so the total value total value in cents will be 20x cents plus 5 into 100 is 500y and the answer is in cents this is the answer for part number b of question number six question number seven is given that a is three b is minus four c is minus two evaluate each of the following expressions you have to evaluate you have to find the value of each of the following expressions while you have been given the value of a b and c so question number seven where a is 3 b is minus 4 c is minus 2 and we have to evaluate the path is 3a minus b over 2c plus 3a minus c over c minus b now just put the values of a b and c in the given expression 3 a is 3 the value of a is 3 so just put a equal to 3 over here minus b which is minus 4 so use a bracket over here to put the value of b because it is negative divided by 2 into c is minus 2 plus 3 a is 3 c is minus 2 c is minus 2 b is minus 4 b is minus 4 no i'm going to evaluate this 3 into 3 is 9 minus into minus is plus 4 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 plus 3 into 3 is 9 minus into minus plus 2 over minus 2 minus into minus plus 4 9 plus 4 is 13 over minus 4 plus 9 plus 2 is 11 over 2 you can take the LCM by making the denominator same this is 2 this is 4 if I want to make it 4, I need to multiply 2 in the numerator as well as in the denominator in order to have same denominators. This will be minus 13 over 4. I have just shifted this negative sign to the numerator. Well, this doesn't change the question. This fraction is negative. Either negative is with numerator or negative is with denominator it doesn't matter plus 11 into 2 22 over 4 so 4 is the LCM it will be minus 13 plus 22 what will be the answer it will be 9 over 4 okay this is the value of the expression of question number 7 part a I have evaluated this one like this so expression question number 7 part b is 2c minus a over 3c plus b minus 5a plus 4c over c minus a. I am just going to put the values of a, b and c here in the given expression. 2 into c, c is minus 2, minus a is 3, 3 into c, c is minus 2, plus b is minus 4, 5a is 3, 4 c is minus 2, c is minus 2, minus a is 3 so 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 minus 3 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 
minus into plus is minus 4. 5 into 3 is 15, 4 into minus 2 is minus 8, so it is minus 2 minus 3. Minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7, minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10, 15 minus 8 is 7, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. You can cancel this negative sign with this. So it is 7 over 10. You can use this negative sign to overcome to multiply with this one. You can shift this negative in numerator and this minus 7 into minus will become plus. I am repeating this negative sign in the denominator can be shifted in the numerator where it will multiply with this sign to become positive. Now take the LCM. 10 will be the LCM. It's 7. 5 2 times 10 2 into 7 is 14 so your answer is 21 by 10 this is the value for the expression of question number 7 part number b so i will upload the next part after this one keep watching thank you so much